What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is the average cost of groceries in Britain versus America. This is going to be an interesting one. Yeah, I'm interested in this because I always feel like America... For me, I can't work out though the difference between the pound and the dollar. Okay, that's a good so point. So I always think, wow, that's a lot of dollars, but I'm like, wait, the pound's less. It is, but nowadays... The pound's uh, We're recording crap. this, yeah, we're recording this <laughs> on the 13th of October, and like, where's like... I'd say maybe like four or five months ago, it would have been 70 pence would have been one US yeah. dollar. Yeah. Now it's like 90 pence is one US dollar. It's yeah. something ridiculous like that, so I'm probably pretty sure. almost equal. Yeah, so it is almost, it's getting there. Um, smash that button if you enjoy this kind of content, smash that subscribe button as well. I think this is Evan? Evan. I think yeah. it's Evan, I believe it is. Uh, I never actually, I know it's on his channel name, I, I could just minimise and check, but I, I'm going to be confident, stick to my guns, Evan. Evan. Um, we enjoyed his channel last time, didn't we? Everyone had opinions, maybe you got some things wrong, or maybe it was misinterpreted, whether it was on certain workers. Yeah. But it's just reading off costs. How yeah. wrong can you get this one? I'm sure it's going to be right. And also, he's American, isn't he? So He's American, living in he, Britain. Yeah. So, so that's saying he's Saints... Britain, I'm guessing. Sure. Oh, is that what you were going to say? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Right, wait, rewind. Just speak wait, for wait, me. Wait, no, no, we'll rewind. So I see the pound sign is in Britain. Oh, yeah, there you go. Well done. <laughs> hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We, we would seriously appreciate it. And uh, are you ready? Sorry. Yeah, I am. <laughs> is it Bob? Let's, Let's go. Bob. Bob so... So I'm currently standing here at a bog standard British supermarket that is yeah. a Sainsbury's, bye bye. the local edition. I've never said that. Uh, because this is a place where oh, a large... Have you you've never said bog standard? Never, when have, have you... you ever heard me say that? Oh, yeah, I, to, I don't think you have, but you've heard it before, surely. Yeah, I've heard I it, say but British. it's weird. The percentage <laughs> of the British people are currently going to buy their groceries. And with the cost of inflation on we the rise, the with the cost of literally all goods going up more and more and more, I wanted to see what is the cost of an average shop at your local store in the UK and possibly compare it to how our friends across the pond in America are currently doing with their grocery shops. So, without further ado, let's get some food. Should've gone to Aldi. <laughs> it's right, cheaper. So I am finally back from Wait. the same. He's been to Sainsbury's, but he's got a Morrison's bag. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I'm guessing he, he must have taken his own bag. I'm guessing he took his own bag. He must have. Surely. With a meal deal in hand. Using oh, it's a meal deal. Bag there you go. Because I care about the environment. So today, oh. we're going to be looking at, like said I said, it. the difference in price between the standard groceries you can get in the UK versus the US. Having grown up in the US and spending, to this point, the majority of my life there, I'm pretty well aware of what prices things normally are. And from my experience, I always felt like it was always more expensive to just buy groceries than it was to get a takeaway or a delivery oh, or wow. something like that. But hey, depends on what you're getting. And I think the data will speak for itself pretty much. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Evan Edinger, an American born British YouTuber who likes making videos on interesting things. Also, he has American a master's degree in British actuarial YouTuber. science. I'm yeah, because he lives in Britain, so he's a British YouTuber technically. So had we been in America, we'd be British born American YouTubers. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Because it explains my love for mathematics. <laughs> Today's video is quite mathy. Let's dive on in. Also, if you like this style of content, please be sure to give that subscribe button a little toggle. Same thing. Anywho, so, groceries. Wait, wait, wait. In order to make this as fair as possible, I looked at two different stores in the US and two different shops in the UK, trying to make it as uniform as possible. I also made sure that certain items were judged by the price per kilogram, as opposed to just the price. So that way, of okay. course, if something was 550 grams and something was 300 grams, we can actually see the overall cost per kilogram and see which one was more expensive. Also using Google Spreadsheets' automatic conversion algorithms, I was able to make an entire column just for Americans to understand everything in the dollar value and also everything in pounds for Brits. Now in the UK corner, we're looking at a a Sainsbury's better. slash Tesco, because I believe these are pretty middle of the line oh, shops. Asda and, Aldi. and also they're all over the entire Aldi's UK. not middle line. Uh, yeah, Aldi's the cheapest ones. I'd say Sainsbury's, Tesco, pretty standard, not too much, you know? Okay. Yeah. In the US, we're looking at an Acme slash ShopRite. Oh, wow, I've never, never heard of them. I've never heard of those. I'm fairly certain there aren't any fully national grocery food chains in the States. There might have some that are like taking up a huge majority of the West Coast or East Coast, like Safeway or Trader Joe's and whatnot. Safeway, but I'm using my Jersey heritage. So we're going with ShopRite and Acme. All right, I split this up into a couple different sections with the standard groceries. We got fruit and veg, and then we got some meats and other things like that. In the UK, you can expect to spend about one pound 20 for your standard loaf, no right. fancy, no Aldi seeds price. of bread. 
In the US, the equivalent cost in dollars is $3.84. Wow. Or in pounds, that's £3.32. A 2.7 times increase over the cost wow. of a single loaf of bread Ouch. for the same equivalent grammage in the UK. <laughs> grammage. My grandma bought this loaf of bread and it was 2.7 times more expensive back in her day. Porridge oats or oatmeal, standard kilogram box of porridge oats is gonna cost you about one pound 95 in the UK. Get you a nice amount of porridge. In the US, that's four pound 71, the equivalent of $5.45 for a kilogram of oatmeal. Just to add that this, the when he says the UK, yep. that's not Jersey. Jersey is probably double the UK one. A little less than America. I wouldn't say America. double, but for, it, for the it's, bread, it's, it's more not expensive. one pound, whatever. It's, it's probably like, about 180. No, for bread, isn't yeah. it? It's not. It's like two pounds or in. You know what? It's in a not. In a future video, we will bring bread in. Okay, I'll do you take know what we'll do? Maybe we will do the Jersey equivalent. Maybe we could do our own video of this the gro average cost of groceries in Jersey versus America. Yeah, but you know what's going to happen if I do that? I'm gonna have to roll the spreadsheets. <laughs> Guys, that's yeah, gonna take me forever. <laughs> that's gonna take Come me on, if you want that video, drop down. If you want that video, get us 5,000 likes. I'll just say 10,000. No, 5,000 10, likes. 10,000 no, likes. I want to do it. Yeah, 5, <laughs> I've got to do a map. 5,000 likes, okay? And get us to 140,000 subscribers, and we will do it before Christmas. Potentially. <laughs> and again, we're over <laughs> two <laughs> times more expensive for this standard grocery. Next that is up, expensive. we've got cornflakes. These exist in both countries. No crazy cereals. No, we're not talking about any like Jolly Rancher or Sour Patch Kids cereal in the US. Standard cornflakes. In the UK, of course, if you want a big box of this terrible anti masturbatory cereal, it's going to cost you two pounds. It's pretty standard. It's cornflakes. You're not paying much for cornflakes. In the US, it is £5.59. $6.46 for a box of cornflakes. That's disgusting. Cornflakes. Uh, it's a this lot. is one of those that I, I was like, is it really that expensive? And then I remembered, yes, I loved cereal growing up in the States. And I always expected to pay about $4.50 for a small box or for the cornflakes, something like that size, about six bucks. So, wow. Whew, I just didn't realize how much I was really saving on groceries living in the UK. On basic things. Moving on, we got 500 grams of rice. This one was actually quite close. Only 10% more expensive in the okay. US. Okay, Still more expensive, but you know, not as bad. 1.26 times more expensive in the States for the equivalent amount yeah, of butter. Yeah, pack's nearly Moving four Moving on pound to four pints of whole milk. And if you're wondering why I'm measuring four pints of whole milk, the UK is an absolutely batshit measuring thing in which they go somewhat <laughs> metric and then they go back to imperial, but in a weird way where they, instead of just saying, a gallon or quartz or something like that. They just go with four pints. Might as well just say eight cups. I don't know, half gallon, <laughs> ring a bell, anyone? Two quarts, I don't know. Either way, so the equivalent amount- We are a little bit weird like that. We are a little bit. Of milk, a standard thing that most people pick up during their grocery shop. We're looking at three pound 10 in the US. Yet again, more than double the UK amount of one pound 45. Switching over to dollars, that's the equivalent of dollar 68 for a half gallon of milk. So far, we've not really seen any big W's coming out the US, but that's about to change with cheddar cheese. 550 grams, no, Ooh. actually uh, very close though. Only 16% more expensive in the States, so you could, you could write close. that off as a little bit of variance. I like cheese Fine. as well. A dozen medium eggs, two pound 30 for a standard dozen versus three pounds and two pence in the States. So for my standard dry good groceries, it looks like the UK is a resounding win with a significant decrease in the price of groceries. Now moving on to fresh fruit and veg. First up is an onion or rather onions per kilogram. Per kilogram, you're looking at 85 pence for a kilogram of onions. Of course, they're cheap onions. Except in the States, you're looking at an equivalent of three pounds and 79 pence. We're looking at 4.46 times the price, nearly four and a half times more money for a bag of onions. And it gets worse if you only want, want to buy a couple onions. I knew this because when I visited the States in February, I wanted to buy one onion for a dish and it cost a dollar. Wow. For one, one onion. onion. In the UK, that's the equivalent of buying a whole kilogram of them. It's, it's, it's crazy. And then finally, we get our first W, USA. We win on the tomatoes, okay? We got some vine fresh tomatoes. No, US pays 17% less. Hell yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Now, I mean, you like a tomato, don't you? Shh. Tomato or tomato? Tomato. Tomato. No, you don't say that. Tomato. He does not say that. <laughs> this is a bit of an outlier because 
this is coming from a New Jersey location. And New Jersey is known for our Jersey fresh tomatoes. The best tomatoes you can get anywhere in the world. So you think because that they're so Jersey incredibly good tomatoes. and delicious in the Garden <laughs> State, they'd be- Oh my, you've just confused a tomato for a potato, which is a potato. Potato, potato. No, they say potato. <laughs> Jersey's there for potatoes, and you've just confused a tomato with a potato. No, I didn't. I meant to say tomato. No, well, Jersey's not there for tomatoes one bit. <laughs> you just confused a tomato for, to for tomato. <laughs> More expensive, but no, everyone's growing them. We got them all over the place. So, congrats. We got cheaper tomatoes. Next up, pink lady apples. Oh, the creme de la oh that is I the love them. Go I love of win for the US. 2% cheaper, oh, but we guys have them as well. W's. Now, bananas per kilogram are 78 pence in the UK. You can buy them for, at uh, this point, freaking 30 pence No way, per. a banana's 14p. But pay. I digress. For the US, it's not that bad. At one pound 12 is the equivalent amount, so only one and a half times more expensive. P. Wow. I'm saying. A 14p for one banana? That does not sound right. It probably that, is. That's, I'm sorry, but you're talking about one pound in Jersey. <laughs> You're not talking 14 pence. You're not talking what? 14 pence for a banana. Are like, you having me on? For like a bunch of five, I'd, I'd say maybe it's £1.50 or something. Yeah, 14 pence Which is one 30 banana. I, I don't know how much it is. I really don't. We're just guessing. So you're telling me it's like 60p if you want a bunch of bananas? That's not... That's not nah, I'm not having that. <laughs> only, but at this point, these are all starting to add up. And this one blew me away the most. A kilogram of carrots will set you back 45 pence, nearly 50 cents. However, in the US for that equivalent, you're paying one pound 88. Yet again, over four times the cost I'm for so carrots. And at this point, it's starting to get really freaky because the US, <laughs> especially like California, has so <laughs> many know. farms, huge swathes of land. We have so much more land. You could argue we have, we have more people, and so therefore we have more demand. But I, for some reason, I feel like something else is afoot here as well. Like. It's, it just seems wild that all of this is more expensive, except of course the Jersey Fresh and the apples. Next up, standard raisins. Standard bag of raisins are two times more expensive. I love raisins. A cucumber, one and a half times more expensive. Can I just uh, add? Thing. Sorry, go back to the raisins. Okay. Because and he's the used apples. there. Next up, standard raisins. He's used Tesco own brand and sun made apples. We do have. Raisins. I mean, we do have sun. <laughs> right. We do have sun-made raisins. He can't really compare Tesco and brand to that. He should really be test be doing the sun-made raisins. Compared. I agree. Unless because Tesco well, own brand stuff is ridiculously cheap. Compared. It is, which I I agree. If you want to do a fair, it's not one. my fault if America don't have own brand stuff. Yeah, but that's like, the point. Yeah, but if you want, if you wanted raisins, raisins, if you wanted raisins, right? If you wanted raisins and you walked into an American yeah. shop. If, if, assuming this is the way he's done it, we nah. don't know how he's done it. We've nah. got to trust these no, figures. No, I'm not having it. No, no, but wait a minute, hear me out. If you want raisins and you walk into I a know. Tesco shop and you only had... Yeah, but I know Walmart do their own raisins. Do you know they how do. much they are? Maybe they're eight dollars, you don't know. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, but they should be doing the some made ones of ours. Uh, no, because then someone would go... That makes it sound like we're oh. really cheap, but... The te yeah, it's one of them. The Tesco's will be a lot cheaper, but the idea is... Is you go into a shop, no. if you want raisins, you're comparing the cheapest to the cheapest, I'm guessing. Do you get me? I don't, I don't know. Let us know what you think of this video in the comments. <laughs> we we don't know how he's done it. We don't know the shops. Maybe we'll have to do it on our own. But I don't know. I feel like... Same brand would be more expensive than the UK. Not more expensive than the US one, but it'd be more expensive than £3.30 probably. Oh, I still think £3.30 is quite excessive uh, for Tesco's. It is. That, it's 1kg though. That's a lot of uh, raisins. I don't know how much that is. Standard bag of raisins are two times more expensive in the US. A cucumber, one and a half times more expensive. A same thing for a can of chopped tomatoes, one and a half times more expensive. A kilogram of potatoes, potatoes are so cheap. That's what Jersey's is famous for. A kilogram for. bag is 83 pence in the UK. The US is three and a half times more expensive. We're looking at over $3 for a kilogram of potatoes. Lord have mercy. We did have two wins for this section of fresh fruit and veg, but now I think there might be a bit more perspective here on why there's so much processed foods in the US, because if you can believe it, a lot of those are a lot cheaper than buying all of these fresh vegetables. Wow. Just buy a box, add a couple things to it, Bon appetit. You save a bit of money, not as good for you. And finally, our last section here is going to be the meat of the video. The meats. Going into this, I really expected the UK's to be more expensive for meats because God, is it expensive to buy standard mincemeat and chicken and such at the local yeah. stores. But mincemeat, holy crap. One pound 69 for the UK. What? Wait, five. Yo, Tesco, don't come for us. 
a long time. Don't come for us, but a long time ago, I think Tesco, Tesco was selling horse, horse meat. Horse meat were found in Tesco burgers, I think it were, weren't it? Something like that. But again, it is Tesco beef. I would not eat. So I'm just telling you now, guys, if you come to the UK, I would not eat Tesco meat. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Tesco, don't come for us. But it is the cheapest meat you'll get in Tesco. Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. Holy we three and a half times for meat. I, wow. I don't know how much I'd eat meat if it was that expensive, to be Damn. honest with you. Chicken breast, 650 grams, 1.3 times more expensive in the US. Okay. That's, That's not as not bad. so bad considering mincemeat was that big. Smoked bacon, very close. Yeah, bacon. Very mm. close. Nearly one to one. 250 versus there you 256. Go. There you that go. can change Move. depending on how far the pound has been dropping recently. So if we were to add all these up, the cost of your total grocery shop in the UK would be 48 pounds and 88 pence. Whereas the US equivalent is 88 pounds and 69 pence. Over a hundred dollars for a standard grocery shop which blows me away. Back when I used to shop at Little all the time, I would marvel at how many things I'd th shove in my cart and it would still come out to just about 20 quid. And I was like, Yeah, that's yes. me when I go to England. But Jesus. Isn't it? I just can't imagine a standard grocery shop being a hundred dollars. Of course, this is just a couple samples taken. It's not like a sample across all of the US and all of the UK. And sure, if you're always used to paying 1.8 times what the UK is, you're not necessarily going to notice as big a difference. You don't have anything to compare it to necessarily while you've always been in the US, but sales tax is also a thing in quite a few states. 13 states actually charge their citizens tax on basic groceries. Tennessee charges 4%. So that $100 shop has an extra $4 tacked on top that you aren't really probably budgeting for. And then that adds up every single shop. <laughs> what the, what? why have I just changed flannels? Oh, I must have changed my shirt location when I was changing my browsing location, which today's video sponsor, NordVPN. He's going to sponsor. <laughs> that was Perfect. Good. That, was, that was good. <laughs> the rest of it seems like it is an ad. Let us know in the comments what you thought about this video. I feel like it's one of them. You only pick two stores. You go Tesco own brand, which maybe you didn't know. It's a little bit skewed. But I suppose the idea is you walk into Tesco, you get a lot cheaper than you walk into that store. Yeah, I know how to make the shopping a bit cheaper, though. Why? Don't buy raisins. Like, I don't mind raisins. No bad raisins. Poor raisins. Smash that button if you enjoyed it. Smash that subscribe button. Let us know your thoughts on the video below. Um, and yeah, have a fantastic day, is what Millie should say. So what should you guys do? Have a fantastic day. I was so confused. <laughs> I am so confused. Yeah. We are, to be fair, we are recording later tonight. Smash that like button, guys. Smash that subscribe button. And we'll see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.